Hey everyone, happy Thursday. I hope your week is going great so far. So today I am going to read a story called, What Do You Do With a Tale Like This? <clears throat> it's a pretty cool story because you get to see um, amazing different things that certain animals can do that you wouldn't have even thought. So let's get started. Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it is used. So here is what our illustrations are gonna like th look like throughout the story. What would you do with a nose like this? So I want you guys to pause right here and see if you can figure out what types of animals these noses belong to. If you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. If you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. So, were you guys right? This was a platypus, a hyena right here, an elephant, an alligator, and a platypus. Were you right? What would you do with ears like these? So go ahead and pause right here and figure out who these ears belong to. Very interesting. If you're a jackrabbit, you use your ears to keep cool. If you're a bat, you see with your ears. If you're a hippopotamus, you close your ears when you're underwater. If you're a cricket, you hear, ear, you hear with your ears that are on your knees. If you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds hundreds of miles away. This was a bat, a jackrabbit, a hippopotamus down here, a cricket up here, and a humpback whale. Were you guys right? What do you do with a tail like this? Pause and guess who these tails belong to. If you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, you lift your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on the way. If you're a lizard, you break off your tail to get away. If you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. If you're a monkey, you can hang from a tree by your tail. So were you guys right? Giraffe tail, a skunk, a lizard, a scorpion, and a monkey. Are you right? What do you do with eyes like these? Pause and guess. Who these eyes belong to? If you're an eagle, you spot tiny animals from high in the air. So that's an eagle. If you're a chameleon, you look two ways at once. That's a chameleon. If you're a four-eyed fish, you look above and below the water at the same time. This is a four-eyed fish up here. If you're a horned wizard, you squirt blood out of your eyes. Ooh. If you're a bush baby, you use your large eyes to see clearly at night. Did you guys guess any of those? What do you do with feet like these? Pause and guess whose feet these belong to. If you're a chimpanzee, you feed yourself with your feet. Very interesting. 
If you're a blue-footed booby, then you do a dance. Right there. I've never heard of that animal before. If you're a water str strider, you walk on water. If you're a gecko, then you use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. Very interesting. If you're a mountain goat, you leap from one ledge to ledge to another. Very interesting. What do you do with a mouth like this? Whose mouths are these? Pause and take a guess. If you're a pelican, you use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you are a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck blood. If you're an egg-eating snake, then you use your mouth to swallow eggs larger than your head. Oh my goodness. If you're an anteater, you capture termites with your long tongue. If you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them down with a stream of water. There's an archer fish. And that's it. Very cool story. So I'm going to ask you guys to tell me two interesting things that y'all learned today. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for our last reading of the week. Bye.